Now let's move on to the lesson on adding a camera and for this and I will set up a frontal view. My frame will be square and to do this I first activate the same frame in the render output tab. Then I select square from the aspect ratio. When we do these operations, our field of view value will change and our camera will move a back a bit. We can correct this normal situation with a small adjustments. Let's add a section to our scene and move it forward with the move tool. Select Edit Unhide All to bring back our sailing finish. To look straight ahead, right click on the section and select Align View. Let's adjust our rendering frame the Zoom tool. Before saving the scene, I want to show you something. If you are notice, the colors look a bit pale. This is because the section plane is the visible in our scene. If you turn it off from the menu, the colors will look more vibrant. Let's save our scene. There is a small piece in the bottom left corner that I need to take out of the section. We can do this with the zoom and the pen tools. After making all the adjustments, you can save them by clicking Update. So, what does this section I added to my scene give me? SketchUp sections use it to not be supported by V-Ray. If I remember correctly, this feature came with version 3. Now we can render narrow areas in this way. Without this feature, we use it to remove walls and increase the field of view, but this is also affected the rendering realism. Click on stage 1 to return of our original view. 
you may have noticed that my camera came back very quickly and you can do this with the method I will show you. You can turn off the enable scene transition from model info animation. You can see the section settings in the geometry section. Let's turn off the effect light because I don't want any light to enter from outside. If you select camera rays only, it will show the reflections of the mirror in front of us. There are the default settings for all sections we add to the scene. Our rendering frame is ready and let's take a test render if you want. I'm taking the door down because it's not in the, the frame. I will get natural light from the gap for my scene. Our door is open and you can think of it that if natural light is coming in from inside the house. But of course the progressive render is still selected. So let's turn it off and take another render. While we are at it, let me show you the effect light feature inside the section. If I activate it, light will enter inside the section wall. To avoid this, you must always leave the settings unchecked. It. 